I'm Charlotte Collins and welcome to The Sherlock Show. We have a fab show for you today from a festive walk with Sherlock's readers to a team bonding session at a new iconic London destination. But first, let me introduce our wonderful guests. I am joined by podcast host, podcast host even, Sophie Habu, founder of Marnie Rays and The Longing, Lindsay Holland, and TV and radio broadcaster, Zoe Hardman. You, you've Yay. all had to listen to my intro enough times already that we're just going to go with it. Podcast host, Sophie Habu. Excellent. Welcome all. So nice to see you all. So nice to see you. Um, nice. We're, we're all kind of clinging on until the end. We've only, what is it? I don't know, eight working days, something like yeah. that left. Yes. What have you guys got left to do? What are the Christmas, I'm waking up in panic. Oh How's the Christmas prep going, Zoe? I mean, I don't want to come on the show and be like, ah! <laughs> that, that is how I'm feeling. I feel it's stressful. It's not just the work, because obviously I've only got a few days left until we're going to see my mum for Christmas. We're going to Kenya, which is lovely. Amazing. But it's literally the emails from the school, <laughs> the WhatsApp <laughs> groups, like, have you paid for this present? Have you signed Miss Stevens card? And I'm like, oh. who is she? Like, That's your child's teacher. I'm like, okay, yep, no, I've got that. So I just feel a little bit overwhelmed with all of the stuff. Okay. Um, we're wrapping up the podcast this week too. I've got one more show at heart to do on Sunday and then... I'm tapping out. I do you feel you feel guilty, don't you, as a non-mum with all mm. of the mums who are like, I can't get over the work they no. have to do at this time of year. Oh like, my God. it's a lot. And then my daughter had, um, she's part of like a dance company, and she had a performance on Saturday night. And I was like, I've nailed this. I did her hair and makeup. I got her there on time. Walked her in the door, and I looked at hundreds of other children in red outfits. No, oh, and I was no. like, what was she oh, wearing? She's dressed in black. Oh no! <laughs> and I went, what? And they were like, it's red themed. I was like, of course it is. It's oh. Christmas. So then I was ringing up my husband going, anything red, get anything oh, red in the that. house. And I had to like do a makeshift skirt and a little top, I mean, her oh. little face. Oh. oh, I'm dropping baubles all over the place, I'm basically. Dropping baubles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Lindsay, what's left on your list? I'm crawling to Christmas, mate. Oh. I'm crawling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the floor. Um, no, I'm, I'm not too bad, really. I, I've got a new baby nephew, which is just stressing me out slightly because I want to be auntie of the year. And he's only six months, so he's not really going to know what I've bought him. <laughs> but I've, I've really gone, I've really gone for it. Gone to town? I remember my niece's second birthday, we bought her one of those, like, you know, little Rand Land Rover GP things that they can drive. Oh, themselves. God, they're so cool. And we, we thought we were, like, absolutely winning. And then the box provided her with, like, hours of entertainment. Oh. And she literally didn't look at the car again. So now it's books. It's been oh. books for five years. Ever since then. Um, Sophie, what's left on your to-do list? I, I also am crawling. But I do, I really feel for all the moms. I'm, I feel embarrassing. I'm like, how many, they're like, oh, let me just check my child's list yeah. of Christmas presents. I'm like, if Jamie passed me a list, <laughs> no. I'd be like, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's, and sometimes having a husband is a bit like having a child, yeah. Yeah. but that's another level. Yeah, yeah. he's going to watch the show, so I'm just going to say, no, he's great. <laughs> he's, he's, he's great. great. He's, he's great. great. Um, um, but, but what what is there to do? So I've got my agent, I've got Christmas parties that are all starting this week. Okay. Which are just You've only all... just started them. You've got yeah. them all to go. I, I was like, you said no to everything. Okay. Oh, okay. So no, these yeah. are the ones that I'm, I'm wanting to Okay, okay, that's nice. Fine. Um, realise that they're cocktail and black tie, which is Ooh. perfect when I haven't got that planned. No. <laughs> um, and then I'm just backlogging some podcasts so that we okay. can try and not be filming. Have you done your Christmas presents? Are they all sorted for family? We're, and and stuff? we're doing Secret Santa. Well, oh, across oh, every whole family. Yes. Across the whole That's family. Because we're with cousins. Yeah. We're with aunties, uncles. We're also flying. We'll get into this. We're going skiing. So I didn't want to... Yeah, yeah, so it's great. Cool. That's, but do you not like... I feel like I would also want something for my partner. As well oh, as no, he must. Right, okay, good. That's, I don't that's know an if exception. He knows that, but if he doesn't, oh, God, Jenny, I hope he watches. <laughs> take note. If, if he doesn't do it, there will, this will be the only, only time Jamie. he ever does that. We've yeah. been there. Yeah. Um, are you wrapping? Are um, we at the wrapping stage yet? Yeah, I've bought the wrapping. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take it home to Stockport with me and sit, and then I can have some peace because I'm going to have a week with my family, and I adore them. But it's a week with my family, and I revert to teenage habits yeah, when I get do, there. Do, yeah. So I'm going to shut my old bedroom door, get a Bailey's, and get my wrapping ready. <laughs> oh my God, I'm I love like, I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm ready. And do you afternoon. drink Bailey's yeah. at any other time of the year? Absolutely or is it just not. No, no, no. Just a massive Bailey's with loads of icing when I go yeah. home for Christmas. Mm. I'm like, Dad. Top it up. I was thinking this is how weird it is that we have this like cultural moment in the year where we bring in like all these things that we don't do at any other time, like that we have no. music that you don't listen to, oh, or no. food that we don't eat. Like that's weird. And I walked it's into weird. the kitchen the other day and was like, Alexa, play Heart Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I mean, I know I work for the brand. No, no, no. I'm with Heart Christmas all the way. Die hard. I'm with you. It's excellent. Okay, thanks, ladies. Next up, take a look at what happened when we joined up with US content creator Tinks and the Sherlock's readers for a very festive walk. Good morning, girls. Morning, Hank. It's Saturday. What are we doing? What? Oh, it's Brian on Saturday. <laughs> can, you, can you even see us? 
see our breath. It is Temp very, it is very cold. We are at Marble Arch, Blank Street, Blank Street Coffee. And look at the turnout. We're doing a walk in collaboration with the content creator Tinks, the US content creator. And we've got co Blank we've Street got Coffee. Complimentary Blank Street Coffees. We've, everyone's got an iced candy cane. Cold brew. Cold brew, that's what it is. Uh, which is so yummy if you haven't tried that. No, I haven't so tried that yet. I'll try it. We've got um, Christmas hats. We've got, hat. got a lot of people that have come. I know, it's crazy. So it's crazy. So Tinks does these in the US quite regularly, but she's never done one in the UK. So we're expecting a lot of Tinks fans for this. Okay. Um, as well as a lot of Sheer Lux fans. And where are we walking? Where are we going? We're just going to do a bit of a high Park. We're not going to do the whole high Park loop. <laughs> no, we're going to do a bit of a, a bit of high Park, probably. <laughs> cool. yeah, um, just a bit of a hot girl, festive walk. I have got some tokens at Blank Street. They are offering free coffees to everybody who comes to the walk, which is really nice for a very nice. Start. Very nice. And it's for the first 50 people who arrive. Cool. So then the next 50 people who miss out on the free coffee, they get a token, 20% off your next coffee order. With okay, so it's a win-win. It's, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. But it's heads up, you're not wearing one of these. Yeah, it's <laughs> Look who's talking there. You went to this and not got a hat on. I got a cappuccino. Cappuccino, Sherry, what did you go for? I got a matcha latte because I can't have a coffee first thing without eating anything, so I've got to... Yeah. We've got a few marketing stunts during December. Yeah. Well, and we're a bit premature because it's the end of November, but, but this is the first one. Early. Um, and this is our festive walk in collaboration with Tinks. <laughs> have you seen all the dogs in there? Oh, uh, yeah. We've got little... one in H&M and we've got one in North Face. Love that. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. You're this looking is, very snug. I am really snug. I'm it's cold it's today. Insane. So there was a good turnout in the end. Yeah, we're happy. Have you seen the size of the queue? Have you seen? It's like going round Foot Locker at the back. Sure. Look at it. Excellent. <laughs> we're going to do a mini mic. We're going to ask people what they're wearing. You got your walking shoes on? Or? Yeah, I do. These are particularly cozy, actually. It's cold. It's it it's ridiculous. Today. It's the yeah. first day of the year that it's actually. It is, like, but actually, this is the most. This is the best weather. Well, I wish I had a doggy to bring. I wish I had a dog to bring. I would bring a dog to this kind of thing. Have you got a dog? No. <laughs> I would bring no. a dog. I would if bring. I had one. If I had one, I'd bring. <laughs> that bring. Is that no is here. Yeah, it's a bit chilly, isn't it's it? It's very chilly. <laughs> I just don't think it's really going to yeah, go. Yeah, everyone yeah. conveniently wore a hat. Yeah, I've noticed the. My hood just came up when. You, you have no excuse. You Victoria and Sherry, you, you guys are carrying the Sherlock team here with you. <laughs> Guessing groups and numbers is really difficult. I just said that's my hot. That's the thing I'm it's worst. It's so at. hard to yeah. know. It's I mean, really hard. Hard. yeah, about 100, 100, 150, 200. Yeah. <laughs> okay, like, I'm locking in 150. I'm going 130. Oh, we'll never know. Stand still. <laughs> Someone's gonna. We're doing count. a head count, like in school, like. <laughs> <laughs> Made the executive decision, Charlotte. Well, You've got I think I think if I weren't to, I'm not sure who else would. <laughs> <laughs> right, Are you leading the way, Kate? Well, Where are we going? I'm leading the path. <laughs> That's quite a lot of people, isn't it? I know. It's it's, uh, quite a lot of people <laughs> trying to get across the road as well. It's not ideal. I'm not sure. <laughs> It's just become a, a bit of a public event. Yeah, so. yeah, we've got insurance. Yeah, I was going to say, we've got some, we need some uh, insurance. Making thousands of people cross the road, I'm not sure it's... Oh, I mean, the absolute dream day for it. Green, that's Park Lane. And Green Park. Green Park, don't at me, Kate. I haven't lived in London my whole life. What did you say? Uh, what did you say? Well, no, sorry. Yeah. We're in Knightsbridge. I have my glasses on. That's why. And the show goes, no, we're in Green Park. Green <laughs> Park. We're absolutely in neither of those places right now. Right. We're on Park Lane. Never mind. I don't have my glasses on. I'm so sorry. Right. <laughs> my eyesight is not what it was. When you get to my age, She's got her hater blocker. We should be going that way. We used to go this Did way. Did you just run? Um, yes, I ran. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Hey, guys! Hey. We've gone the wrong way! We're yeah. leading about 300 people astray. This is like. I don't think we can afford to be just winging. Charlotte winging Collins this. just ran through the whole of Hyde Park. Look at her leading. She's leading the charge over there. Daisy, what is this? 
There's about 300 yeah, people um, following your lead, Daisy. Yeah. You need a strict Orienteering route. isn't really my forte. <laughs> Earlier we were we were guessing about 100, maybe 100. I reckon it's actually more 250. 250, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And do you know what? I'm actually warming up now. Do a bit of a walk. Yeah. My feet are warming up. You got your mittens on. Here. Got my mitts on. <laughs> <laughs> what, you got even new. I've these for like a year. Brand new. Do you do you wash your machine your shoes? Yeah. I do. I put them in a um, have to pillowcase. Pillowcase, yeah. So Ooh, yeah. I need your thoughts on Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland. Yes, absolute yes from me. Oh, so yes. Yeah. I'm going next Friday. Oh, don't No, so no, cute. I'm going in two weeks' time to, to, to the um, beer oh, village or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really nice. But not a huge fan of the crowds. The crowds are a lot. There's and a lot of kids. What about the rides? Are you going no, on the rides? I can't say. I'm there for the hot dogs and the um, dance tent. Whatever. You need to get like Doc Wan on the decks. <laughs> he is the best <laughs> DJ. <laughs> he DJed Ali Pali fireworks last year. Really? We've been touring with that. Yes, honestly. <laughs> the man, he could do no wrong. Really? Legend, yes. <laughs> what do you reckon, Tamara? Good turnout. Such, I'm like, mad, so, literally last night I was like, what if no one comes? But this is like crazy. <laughs> My hands are frozen. No, you did well with the glove. Oh, are you? Oh, sorry, I got it. How are you? How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How's this morning been? It's been incredible. It's been so great to meet everyone. Such nice weather. Perfect morning. And this is the first one in London, right? This is the first one in London, hopefully first of many. It was it was honestly the best. I mean, it was the best, yeah. So, Can you just tell me a little bit about what it is the walk does and how it started? I really love to get people offline and in real life because I think we're all a little too comfortable at home on our phones. And I love my online community, but I think that there is something so special about get, getting people together in real life, doing something just basic and fun like a walk and just meeting new people and really feeling that sense of community, which I think we're all craving so much, especially those of us who live alone or in big cities. And it's just nice to get together and go on a little walk. But also, can I just say, for, like, Christine has built such a loyal online following. For, like, you fostered a community in a way that not many people have been able to do. So, like, not everybody can do this and bring them together. Yeah, that's so nice. But if you've, if you've brought people together online, then they'll come together in real life. That's so nice. Right. And she's a London girl at heart. And I'm a London, a North yes, London girl at heart. Yeah. So we were at school together. Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that's she, cool. Her so, accent was less strong like So, oh my God, I was like fully British back then. <laughs> Does it ever come back when you come back to England? Do you, you know what? My intonations are so or? weird. After a week here, I'm like, they're a little bit weird, but um, <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I just hate for people to think it's fake or whatever. So you guys are like childhood friends then? Well, we've yeah. known each other since we were 11. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So both, each of our That's respective crazy. best friends are here somewhere as well. Okay. They, yeah. We were also at school with them. Yeah, so yeah, they, yeah. they basically came to see each other, not us, <laughs> but they're here too. Yes. Um, so yeah, there's a long history there. That's a lot so of cool. history. That's so cool. I'm so that. proud of Charlotte. Oh. She's done such cool things. Like every time I post her, everyone's like, oh my God, I can't believe you know her. And I'm like, ditto, ditto. It's really fun. And actually, some of people have asked me, they're like, I don't know. Yeah, Jinx? no, it's like it's it's. It goes way back. It goes it's way like back. Yeah. Than yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely to meet you. Thank so you nice for that. Thank, thank you for this morning. It's here. been really fun. Every time I meet with a brand, I'm like, look at what Sheer Lux is doing on their social because they are killing it. They're so good. Like seriously, you guys absolutely crush it. Really, really well done. All right, guys, what a morning that was. That worked out quite well, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, very well done. Um, sorry, and Daisy. Yeah. So it was a labour of love, but I'm just really happy with the turnout. So so many people turned out. So yeah. So well thanks well for this done. morning. Well done, well done. Thank you, Victoria. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, happy Saturday bro. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much to everyone who came down to our walk. Now, we were supposed to talk about Christmas food next. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy we're not. And signature not. dishes, but it turns out, despite the fact that <laughs> Sophie, Hodge comes up to Sophie and says, well, you're married, you must be cooking. I <laughs> must cook. I've must got cook. dead, I, I apparently look like I can cook a mean Asian. I mean, what? what <laughs> or a stir fry. Compliment, <laughs> nonetheless. Or a roast, I heard or as well. Or a roast, uh, yeah, I yeah. can. I can don't, you? but I can. But you can okay. And She's that's what matters. A kitchen's too skinny. We've been there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She can't. She, can't she needs work a bigger with kitchen. Yeah. No. Okay, okay. I okay. need this an is island. The, the yeah. environment isn't right. When the thing. email came out last mm. night, though, to be like, girls, can you just like, can you prep a recipe? But you I did literally, reply to something. Yeah. Yeah. Because I rung up my sister and <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm filming this thing tomorrow morning. You need to give me your gluten free um, seeds off of the food. She was like, you've never cooked it. I was like, well, we're gonna, for the sake of it, we're going to say I have. So you've gone as far as to call it your famous gluten free seeds. <laughs> no, you haven't. I don't I even know what this gluten free seeds Yeah, go on, tell us about it. Wasn't it? Like it's your own. There's <laughs> go on, yeah, sell it to us. Own go it. on.
I don't know. No. I'm ready. <laughs> we'll put it in the show notes. It's fine. Anyway, so we're not going to talk about Christmas cookies. No. So we've got a bunch of hopeless cookies on our uh, yeah. sofa. So instead, we're going to talk about what we're wearing. On yes. Christmas Day. Yeah, let's do okay. that. Again, Sophie, Zoe, I feel like you're kind of getting a bit of a free pass here. You're on holiday. Yes. But you bought a new bikini? I got it from Same. Have you heard of that really? bikini brand? No. Same. I have. They're based oh, in no, Los Angeles. I'm of away. That, um, that is <laughs> very different. That's luggage as well. Very different. Sure. Oh, maybe I got that wrong. But anyway. <laughs> she, I think that influencer, she, is it her name? Shea Marie? Oh, yeah. Is it her name? Yeah, it's yeah. her brand. Oh, okay. Hopefully I've got that right. Sure. Um, and I got that, so I've brought that in. But to be honest with you, I will get dressed up. Christmas Eve will be like a, a you know, a bit, a few sequins. But it's going to be 35 degrees. Okay. So any, any clothes that you wear, you just start aggressively sweating. Mm. So there'll be a bikini underneath it. <laughs> okay. I, my mum messaged me and she was like, you, you do realise that you're going to be DJing? And I was like, what? Have you Hang signed on, me up I'm for? <laughs> DJing like, what? Well, there's like a party going oh, okay. on, at, like some sort of golf club thing okay. how ridiculous she signed me up for it and I'm in the program <laughs> no she had yeah, I, no, I love she this has. I love your mum no <laughs> that is I amazing. wonder who's getting the fee for that yeah is, <laughs> is there a fee is there a fee is there a not? you could be my agent I, I so should, I'm going to yeah, be doing that I but yeah I think a little a few sequins on Christmas Eve definitely and okay. then on Christmas day it's literally just as little clothes as possible. Delightful. Yeah. What do you do? Like barbecue? Like what's the Christmas Lobsters, advice? prawns. Oh, oh, how nice. On the beach. Not it's us good. all being be secret, secretly, secretly yeah. so jealous. Wow. You're not a secret. Good. Not a secret. Only <laughs> so jealous. But you're going skiing, aren't you? I am going skiing, yeah. Not going to be so hot, but also really nice and Christmassy. It's and going cool. we're going with loads of us. My cousins are coming. Fun. Aunties, uncles, Jamie, my sister's husband, Fuss, Christmas's wife. Big. Oh, but no big. cooking. What? No cooking. What are you going to be wearing? Well, I think we will go skiing really early Christmas, mm. doing do an early morning ski. So, so I'll probably wear a ski suit mm -hmm. for that. Makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> please <great>. do. <laughs> um, and then I don't know. I don't know what the vibe is. I don't want to go super glam, and then mm. all of you know my cousins are in mm. like jeans. Mm. I, I need to gauge what the yeah. idea is. Mm. I feel like sparkly earrings. That's that's like yeah. you know they're like it can fix everything or a pussy bow or a pussy bow. <laughs> Darling, you can borrow this <laughs> one. So well, I found this really beautiful jumper from Reese actually, and you could I'm going to send you the link because it's you can it's got a detachable um, roll neck to it from and it's Amazing. got sequins coming down here. So I feel like roll necks get quite hot on the day, especially mm. if you're cooking, which you will which be. We, which I will be. be. <laughs> <laughs> in my dream. You could whip it off. And then it can turn into oh, a round. Oh, and whip there. it around. <laughs> whip it around, yeah. It's a game as well. Yeah. As <laughs> <a game. laughs> um, Lindsay, what are your plans on Christmas Day? What are you wearing? Uh, Christmas Day, I think I'm going to wear like a furry, fluffy, big oversized jumper mm. from Ray and like really skinny, long, long trousers. Nice. from Also from Ray, but I was like, oh, big silhouette up top and like a skinny I trouser. Like Lovely. Nice. And then you don't wear shoes in the house, do you? So you don't need shoes. No. So okay. that's it, I think. Did and you start your day in pyjamas? Yeah. Yeah. I bought me and my mum matching ones. Cute. I say pyjamas, she asked for a three-piece lounge shirt from John Lewis. Oh. I was like, all right. Sorry, what's the, third, Fine. what's the third piece? It's a, a cardigan. Because <laughs> I'm picturing oh. a waistcoat. Like, <laughs> I can't see it. A cardigan yeah. always much How do we feel about pyjamas? Yeah. I love pyjamas. Yeah, I, I like sleep in full pyjamas every night. Mm. Wow. Oh, what's I'm a, I'm a naked sleeper. Me too. Oh, oh. And then I'm like, I, I get a bit cold. Oh, no. no I, I do I do get hot and whip off the trousers. Yeah. But I go to sleep in fully, a love. Fully yeah. In. I love them. So then it becomes pyjama top, no pants. Yeah. Which is yeah, an interesting look. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, not, it's not a great look. <laughs> no. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I think we'll finish this chat. <laughs> My outro says keeping to the theme of food. <laughs> um, take a look at a very special lunch to welcome our new joiner, Nana. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Hi. How's it going? Good, how are you doing? It's a bit loud, it's a bit windy, but yeah. can you tell us where we are and what we're doing today? We are at Rattles London at the Oro, and we are here to have a bit of quality time with Nana. <laughs> I think the secret, secret <laughs> is the worst kept secret in the industry. Yeah, Nana I... is joining Shilla <laughs> as a fashion broadcaster and editor. Woohoo! Woo Amazing! <laughs> Welcome, Nana, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I know you guys are going to be hanging out a lot. Yeah, we're probably going to be hanging out. The gorgeous team here have offered to treat us to an amazing day, festive treat. We're going to have a spa treatment and then we're going to have lunch and we're going to have a tour of this iconic building. So we're super excited. Okay, let's this head in. This is what every day is like. Yeah. yeah. So nice to see you again. Hi. 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 Hi.
How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm loving the coat, though. Thank you very much. It, it's quite warm in here, though, so you might need to take off at some point. It's really the outfit, though. So incredibly impractical. And literally on the tube, I was like, nobody touch me. Nobody touch me. Oh, yeah. Is this new? It's not. I, I got it... Um, a year ago. Oh, I don't even touch it. So girls, you three got the massage. <gasps> we did. Yeah, I would like say it. that's the better. <laughs> Personal. Oh, I, love really I love a hotel slipper. I always take them home. Do you? <laughs> I've got a collection. Yeah, I love it. I don't know. There's something so like comforting about them. What, you sneak them in your bag? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> Nicest dressing gown. Where? Back the standard. Oh, gosh. I was at a breakfast at Arcade this morning and I was sat next to a girl. And I was like, so you've got a busy rest of the day. And she's like, you have budgets. Coming up, she's like, I've got that review and I'm going through. And I was thinking, oh. oh she's like, how's your rest of your day? And I was like, um, well, I'm just going to. That's oh, I'm going to have a massage. And then we'll go for lunch. Um, it be really quite nice. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Let's go. And Ali, look at this. <laughs> Instantly, you feel relaxed. <laughs> right, Thank and I'm going to make the most of this. Okay, well, have a lovely time. That was a massage, guys. It was so nice. Yes. Insane. Yeah, insane. Oh my god, yeah. I feel so sad. <laughs> you got the <laughs> trip. <laughs> she came away. I came away. I won't get empty handed. I got some lovely slippers. Stop <laughs> it. Oh, I want to oh, oh, swim. They do a four-hour package. Who, who's the best swimmer in the group, guys? Come on. I feel like Lou. Yeah, I knew it would be Lou. <laughs> 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 I didn't know. Yeah, but yeah. she's got longer limbs than you. I was the fourth best backstroker in the country at one point. Oh, yeah. 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 Definitely. Damn it. Do you care that much about competing? No, but it was more that she was so presumptive. Yeah, I was like, she was sweet. What cardio or weights? Both. She's an yeah. active one. Oh, well, very she, active. Which one would you go on? She asked me. So you do 30 minutes cardio and then 45 minutes. <gasps> Every day? Wow. Yeah, or like six, six. She's in Shoreditch House at 7 a.m. Takes me back. Does it take you back to the. Yeah, it does. And we're with Kira, who is going to give us a tour. So where are we starting? So we're starting at the top of the grand staircase. Amazing. So if you look over here, you see the gorgeous <laughs> chandelier by Lasvid. Wow, it fits so beautifully in this space, and it's such a nice entrance yeah. for guests when they come in. So can you tell us a bit about the history? Because we know so it's OO yeah. after Old War Office. So this was yes. a, this was a government building, right? It was. So, but I'll take you all the way back to the very beginning. Mm. So on this space, um, obviously with Whitehall, this was Whitehall Palace. So Henry the Eighth. Um, was born, lived and also died um, on the grounds oh, wow. here. Oh, but wow. it wasn't the building that we see today as Whitehall Palace, but that's um, way back at the beginning of um, the history of the space. So then we moved to 1906 when it became the Old War Office. Um, and so that's where we had um, Churchill in particular, and on this very circle here was where he used to stand and give his address <gasps> no, um, no, every no. morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very, very. yeah. So um, obviously quite historically significant in its time as the Old War Office. No, wait, get your coat back. Yeah. Do you reckon Churchill? Yeah. 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 Chanel. 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 When it was the Old War Office, um, to walk up the Grand Staircase you had to be of certain military standing, so a colonel. So um, you can imagine it would have been quite the milestone wow. to take those first few steps up the stairs once you'd received that promotion. Yeah. Wow. Um, but when Churchill gave his address each day during the war, I'm sure you can hear the acoustics in the area. I don't yeah. think it would have mattered if you're at the bottom of the stairs or the top, his yeah. voice would have been quite boomy. Yeah. 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 Oh, <gasps> oh my uh, god! Uh, wow. Wow. Oh, wow! When this was the old war office, this was the Secretary of State of War's um, office space. So this desk that you see here is um, not the original, um, because the original had um, holes in it for wirings and things like that, but Churchill's um, desk, so a replica of it, wow. in the exact spot in the room that he would have had it um, when he was here as Secretary of State of War, wow. using this room wow. as his office space. Cool. Um, so a lot of people like to sit in the chair and kind of imagine and look around at what exactly he would have seen as well, which is quite wow. insane. Wow. Yeah. So on our, we have the Churchill um, bust on the mantelpiece there. Another fun fact about the room, talking about how a lot of men might like to um, experience history here. You've heard of the Profumo affair. Yeah. yeah. So um, 
Profumo's wife actually felt that the room was too masculine, um, so she painted all of the walls, um, the wooden aspects of the wall, powder blue to try and give it all <laughs> a match. So if you look around and imagine this entire room, I think that powder was blue. I was going to say, yeah. I feel like that's what I quite like to do. <laughs> yeah, I think actually it was. And how much imagine. of like the the ceiling and stuff would that has that been restored or is that still that is it? original? <gasps> yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Like just cleaned and yeah. But it was all in pristine condition. Just about, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's no new element to the hotel that's built, Locked. apart from the basement. Yes, yeah, so okay. um, the spa area, is um, that's been fully, that's all new. Yeah. A lot of the like <laughs> yeah. crews out on the courtyard, which we'll go and take a look okay. at, um, those kind of structures are all new. But it's amazing that like, you know, you've got a special birthday, yeah. and a special occasion, like mm-hmm. such incredible place. Yeah. So the price for the Heritage Suites is um, <laughs> on application, okay. but um, this room has been quoted at 20 £25,000 um, per night. Nice. Yes. Cool. Wow. And I'll treat you a penny. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It's a good bonus. You wouldn't sleep. You'd <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen this. That's insane. Yeah. Wow. All of the men pieces are um, original as well. Yeah. Look, as a party person. I feel like we're in the crown. Yeah. yeah. It's yes, isn't it? But like a modern crown. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Is insane. Does it go on a ship? Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Cool little yeah. slidey door as well, isn't it? Oh. Mm. The looks so amazing everywhere. Kitchen! <laughs> Start out, they do much cooking. <laughs> <laughs> it's more for ice. <laughs> it's definitely it's for ice. For ice and glasses. <laughs> so maybe cutting and glass. Yeah. yeah. I hope they let you have a late checkout. I hope I'll be out by 11. <laughs> I can't look at the mirror and take photos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that will do. Thank wow. you. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah. Massive. So nice. Oh, yeah. 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 The rosewood must be from the same period because there's yeah, so, there's there's so much in the same area. Yeah. All of this side here is the gorgeous residences. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, and then from about the corner in a horseshoe shape is the hotel. Oh, okay. The actual tile that you see here was um, lifted up and numbered and then placed back down in just about. Oh the my god, that's wow. wow. Yeah, so that's so insane. much has gone into yeah. the detail. Wow. God, what a legacy. Yeah. That is wild. Yeah. How long was that taken? That's the yeah. best thing I've heard. Yeah. I wonder how many pieces there are. Thousands. Yeah. So impressive, like yeah. for even from the outside, yeah. and then yeah, when like you know how much, yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. knowing how much, history. yeah, much yeah. history is steeped in it's mm-hmm. incredible. Yeah. yeah. This is where MI5 and MI6 mm. were formed. Um, so oh. these basement corridors. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. It this was known so as the Secret Service Bureau, and I'll have to double check the exact date. I think it was 1920. Yeah. Um, is when MI5 and MI6 were formed um, and these rooms here which are now just meeting rooms that you can book um, were interrogation rooms for the so Secret cool. Service Bureau. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so and Ian Fleming based the Bond books? Yes, here, yes and where you're dining at Saison used to be the library um, and Ian Fleming wrote some of the um, James Bond oh, novels or did his research so there. Mike yeah. Evans but yeah. <laughs> yeah. your novel. novel. <laughs> <laughs> um, this little nose here of the lion um, Churchill used to rub the nose of the lion um, every day before he walked up the stairs yeah. for good luck. Wow. So we like to do it as well. Yeah. Ooh, Give it a rub, go on. My hands yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, just super superstitious yeah. to, for good luck during the war. And the orange jetty. Welcome to the tea. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you got off with this job and I was like, oh my gosh, it sounds amazing, but what exactly <laughs> am I going to be doing? I would say that most people at Chillax, it sort of is like, oh, well, they'll get her and yeah. we'll <laughs> yeah. Especially yeah. when it's a new role. It's yeah, like, it's you kind of make it your own. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah, yeah, no limits. Yeah. Which is so nice. Yeah, yeah there I are no that. limits at Chillax, it's true. Yeah. So we've never had a specific fashion broadcaster that that is purely, well, yeah. obviously Polly is like, she yeah. Yeah. Is, she's only one day. Yeah. So yeah. that's super exciting that like, yeah. you can really make it yeah. Every Thank event you. out there, like Nana will be bridging yeah. the gap between our audience and this event. <laughs> <laughs> she will yeah. walk us Yeah, I think it'll be out about a lot. Yeah. yeah. It's so cool. Great. So I, was, I did Ascot last year yeah. and was kind of there roving the 
reporter. Um, yeah, that was really cool. I know. Are you ready for all the content that's going to be? You're going to be filmed every day, probably. Are I you know. ready for that? Or is uh, that? Yeah. No, I'm very ready. Um, I think a lot of people have said to me they're quite concerned about what's going to be on my desk. Right. So I know that's a big thing. My desk currently has a lot of stuff is it organised um, chaos or not is it uh, no it's organised chaos you so it's like, yeah I know where it. everything is and I get it but it's a lot of stuff okay. so but this is a new slate so I'm going to try and well I won't judge clear. you I'll give you a little warning maybe <laughs> before I come yeah I can have a little tidy up yeah. Nana has Sorry, styled Ed Sheeran oh. have you really yeah, I have I was saying he's like one of the nicest people okay. thank you you're very welcome because he's got Ed Sheeran's got an interesting style he's got he's always got the baggy line yeah, well, when I started him, it was like when he first kind of came out and he loved just being in like a hoodie. So I just used to put in a different variation of like what he was already wearing. Yeah. <laughs> like a fresh white t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. That is so pretty. That's like the... Wow. How cheap. What was it? Vegetable. Mm. Oh, yummy. How, how are we feeling? Like full, relaxed. Full what a relaxed. lovely, lovely way to spend an afternoon. <laughs> There's tired vibes, I'm sensing yeah, very yeah. tired vibes. We've really got to get ourselves going again. Charlotte's getting lower and lower into that. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, that was Okay, girls. What a day. What a day. What a, day. What a, day. What a treat. And what's the most amazing fact? All the Winston bits, like the fact yeah, that he grabbed the lion's nose and that little circle yeah, where he stood, yeah, where we've cool. all got a picture. Yeah. Love that. It's it's amazing. Welcome, the food was also... I was actually, I'm really thinking good. that every day at Sherlock's is going to be like, oh, we'll oh, make it. It's a really good job. Good job, man. I love it. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. All right, back for some more festive chat. We want to know about your stocking fillers. Christmas is expensive. Under fifteen pounds was the limit. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm. What do you What do you want in your stocking? What are you buying for other people, Zoe? So I don't get a stocking because apparently I'm a grown up, uh, which is really irritating. Um, but so for me, double. Mm. I put in one of my kids' stocking. You I play love, double? What's that? Oh, guys, right, so not fun. just for kids. Mm. What um, is double? <laughs> what is double? I'm picturing yeah. like dominoes. No, no it's, it's like <laughs> it's kind of like snap, but that does it a disservice. Yeah, it's very hard to explain, but basically it's round cards. Yeah. Um, you have some, I have some, and then you turn them over, and then you turn a card over, and then you have to match the symbol that's on your card to the one that's on that card. So there's like seven different symbols, and you have to go, like slam your hand on it, and then you keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going. You have to match them all up. I'm not Sounds doing like snaps. But, but <laughs> it's sort <laughs> it's of like snaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does, that, does that come across that well? It's a brilliant game. You'll love okay. it. So get double. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, May a Maybelline mascara, which is my absolute diehard mascara, which is eight ninety nine. Oh doesn't imprint anywhere on your eyes and just gives super long extended voluminous mm. lashes so yeah definitely get that and then i love the ordinary as a brand i think it's they're just so clever i love the packaging and i love the products and this is the argan oil which oh, i basically yeah. put everywhere i get really dry cuticles so i put it there hair face just yeah shove it everywhere that's dry basically they're nice. great ones yeah, yeah. That's come on then guys what you got yeah, yeah. okay no, no yeah. pressure guys <laughs> <laughs> How about you? No. i'm going to start by talking about this very chic toothbrush that okay. zoe told me not to bring up again <laughs> it's a toothbrush but i think i knew the one it's like striped Italian. No, beautiful. Are <laughs> <laughs> you thinking of those wooden? What those quite chic wooden? Yes, like, I, yeah, I think they're quite. Chic I was just like, well, do you know what? A grown-up teeth mm. toothbrush. Perfect, like yes. 14 quid. I know it's not Oral-B, but like, what are you going to do? <laughs> and like, I love and you. So that, that is one of them. Lovely. And yeah. then I've been reading a book by Madeline Miller called mm. Song of Achilles. I love erotic coming of age books and this is that it oh. has everything it's like a coming out story a coming of age loads of sex and it's all about greek mythology as well right. so I'm, awesome. I'm into it it's very very good okay um and then my third thing was the summer fridays lip butter balm which is just amazing, oh, amazing. Like, I can't stuff. It. Yeah. Yeah. it's such a good Love that. although the road peptide bar not tried it still oh, i haven't tried it obsessed it's i have every jelly bean Stunning, delicious. Listen, really? Yeah, I, Under yeah. 15? Yeah. In and around. Ish. Mm. No, if it was in and around, I could have gone there, but I thought it was under 15. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, was really I think it's 18 the off the top of my head because I thought, I think I was about to say that, even oh, though it's not right there. Well, it would have been a bad recommendation. It would have been. Yeah, well, three sorry. pounds over. Anyway, um, Summer Friday's one, also lovely. Love so that. Really good. Love good that. Um, Sophie, what about you? 
<laughs> okay, so not the road because no, it's too expensive, okay. Charlotte. <laughs> so I got the Rafi or Rafi? Rafi. Rafi mini lip gloss, eight pounds. Oh, yeah. So you've still got more Love. to spend if you wanted to get some sweets two. in there. Yeah, two. There we go. Mm -hmm. That would slightly be over, yeah. but it's nice. <laughs> um, oh, eye warmer, Great. eleven pound ninety five. I know how much it costs. Okay. And I thought a nice gift is a bauble. Yeah, I often say things wrong. From you know, you could get a personalised one, yeah. a glass one. Yeah. They're wife. really wife. 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 <laughs> wifey. Just yeah. so he remembers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just in case he gets my I really like all the kitschy ones, like a, like you know, like an avocado or a prawn or so a, cute. I do yeah. like those yeah. ones too. Yeah. yeah. Um all right, ladies, thank you so much. Before you go, everybody's got exciting things coming up next year. <sighs> You're going, going on tour. I'm going on tour. What does that mean? Please come. <laughs> um, so we are touring with our podcast Newlyweds and we're going to Manchester, Glasgow, London, two nights in London, two nights in Dublin, Birmingham. Can't remember where anywhere else. We're going, right, but we're, we're going around England. How big are the Excellent. venues? Are they? Are they? They're like of... three thousand, four thousand. Oh my god! Oh, oh, so so the rise of the podcasters. Out? They're out. They right? They're out. Okay, London okay. sold out. Dublin sold out. But the rest haven't quite. So you know, you can come see me in Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we'll go to Glasgow for the <laughs> night. No, but Manchester. Nice. Oh, okay, Manchester. Fun. Yeah, so yeah. Manchester. Why would we pick Glasgow? So I was there. I was well. Oh, perfect. Great. We're coming. You're coming. No, in that case. Yeah. So that's my. Okay. Can, so um, obviously, nice Christmas present if anyone wants Excellent. to yeah. last minute yeah. Christmas present. That, that goes in a stocking as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's under fifteen quid though. Tickets. Yeah, it's not, but it's <laughs> worth it. But it's worth it. It's <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Um, Lindsay, Marnie Rays, what's coming up next year? Yes, so we've got a really exciting year with uh, a surf and wellness retreat that I founded last year, popping it up all over the world. We're going to Portugal in June. We're going to go to oh. Bali in October. Oh, I know. Amazing. And we're about to announce our third destination on Sunday. So okay. just head to Marnie Rays' Instagram and you'll figure out where we're going. That's so but, exciting. Yeah, Congrats. It's going to be amazing. amazing. Yeah, amazing. Really amazing. It's going to be gorgeous good year ahead and Zoe you've got a new, new initiative yeah little new venture yeah. um so our podcast made by mamas that's been going for like five years we have kind of listened to what everyone's been saying on the podcast all these amazing mums that feel kind of shunted out of work when they have their babies so this year about two months ago we launched made by mamas careers um, essentially we're a recruitment agency on arm of the businesses all about getting mums back into work so, oh, wow. so, so you literally find amazing. them jobs amazing. we're finding them jobs we're speaking to loads of really cool brands we're, we've got all these incredible CVs these women that are like it all has to be flexible so yeah. either sort of three days in the office a couple of days at home um, but yeah if you're looking for a job cool. give the call yeah oh that cool. is oh, very cool. about it. yeah that is it for today thank you so much to the panel and the sheer Lux team on next week's show there are more wonderful guests Lou and I take on our annual Christmas unboxing we go behind the scenes at the sheer Lux Christmas party and lots more in the meantime we would love it if you could comment below do give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye-bye.